welcome to this day. Good morning, it's Wednesday and it is June 5th and it's also National Moonshine Day. Yes. We got a little sample here, which we won't try, but nonetheless, here they are, sample size. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll talk about that. That's yep. kind of neat. All right, uh, I'm gonna tell you who's on our show today and uh, we're due to get a report from GRF. So we'll see if somebody uh, from GRF makes their way up here and tells us about uh, what happened at the meeting yesterday. Uh, also, uh, AutoNation Toyota uh, will stop by and uh, tell you what's going on with them. And then we have uh, Steve Moyer here today. Steve is the CEO of AgeWell, and he's going to come on and tell us sort of the history of AgeWell. And of course, the Florence Sylvester Senior Center is part of AgeWell, and they are right down the block. And then lots of events going on at the Towers. Kristen Orr will be here today. Kristen is the Towers uh, manager. Mm -hmm. All right, and today uh, meetings, we have two. We have the third communications committee meeting, which will be in the Sycamore room at 1130. And then we have the GRF mobility and community access committee meeting, and that will be in the boardroom at 130. Okay, so this little beverage has a notorious record of blurring the lines of history and the law, turning ordinary men and women into criminals and common criminals into legends. Moonshine traditionally is an illegally distilled spirit, mostly made from a corn mash. Moonshine is a distilled whiskey that is typically produced by an individual illegally without a permit. And as you can see by the picture there, that is what it used to look like. Um, the name Moonshine is also known as White Lightning, Mountain Dew, Homebrew, Hillbilly Pop, Rot Gut, and a variety of others that uh, there's just the list is too long to name. Distilling skills first came to the United States during the 1830s with the Scotch-Irish as they settled in Virginia. Temper temperance laws and prohibition legislation were passed in several states before the Civil War, but it wasn't until the turn of the century that the temperance movement picked up steam. By the time the 18th Amendment was ratified early in 1919, over half the country was dry. And you know, they were pouring uh, alcohol into the streets, uh, into the drains. I mean, trying to get rid of, of every ounce of uh, moonshine that there was. Uh, prohibition lasted 13 years, and it created demand for moonshine unlike any that they've seen before, and moonshine became big business overnight. Look at that, there's the temperance movement. So anyway, and the last slide that I have is all the different kinds of moonshines that you can actually find today on shelves. You can see we have Stillhouse, you've got um, Candy Corn uh, Moonshine, then the one I have in my hand is called Old Smoky. And this is just a little one, but you can get lots of different flavors. And as you can see, they have cherries that are uh, fermenting in the moonshine. So there you go, now you have the history of moonshine. Ken, you said you went and visited this little moonshine Yeah, place. the um, uh, the Smoky Mountain one is, uh, they are actually, their distillery is in uh, Gatlinburg, Tennessee, which is about 10 miles from Dollywood Pigeon Forge. And in Pigeon Forge, there's an area, I was telling Lisa, it's kind of like the Irvine Spectrum, that type of a, a, a place to go. And they have a big uh, place there that you can go in and try all the different flavors of moonshine. And uh, just, just great fun, I prefer more regular bourbon and rye rather than the, the flavored ones, but it's a fun place to go. And you can find this at uh, a lot of moonshines at Total Wine and Vevmo. So they're right there if you want to try them. All different kinds. All right, all not really all different kinds of weather because we are just sticking to the same. The only difference is, like today, a little thicker marine layer is out there. Going to hang around a little bit longer, but you can see we're going to start to warm up as uh, we get to the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Sunday, we could be reaching 80 degrees, which would be certainly um, normal for this time of the year. Normal would be anywhere from 77 to about 80, 81, 82. And uh, we'll see if we get there. Again, it changes every day, but really the main thing is expect the marine layer, whether it's a light one or a heavy one, every day, we're in June, it's June gloom, giving way to a pretty darn nice uh, afternoon, usually kind of a hazy afternoon, then an absolutely beautiful evening. Let's take a look around Orange County and beyond and look at Palm Springs, 105. So they really shot up very quickly. I mean, uh, the weather there now is uh, approaching weather you'd normally get in July. So they went from very below normal for quite a while to now above normal out there. Same thing with Lake Arrowhead, 76 degrees. That is 
closer to midsummer time uh, weather out there. Overall, just absolutely beautiful. Go out and uh, go down and enjoy the sunsets tonight. All right, we'll be back in just a moment. Maxi Comfort from Golden is the most comfortable lift recliner in the world. Its patented technology glides smoothly into a variety of positions not found on most recliners. Everyone loves the programmable auto drive control. You can lift and recline, watch TV or sleep, and enjoy the feeling of weightlessness in zero gravity. Made by American workers and backed by the industry's best warranties. Feel relaxed in a Maxi Comfort lift recliner. Contact your local Golden retailer today. Are you looking for a better way to manage your medication? Medbox by AmeriPharma has redefined the pharmacy experience. No more pill organizers and vials. When we fill your prescriptions, you get all your medications conveniently packaged by the dose and delivered to your door at no additional cost. This means no change in insurance, co-pays, or out-of-pocket expenses. Call our specialists today and discover the new way of pharmacy. Medbox by AmeriPharma. This one is gonna be a challenge for me. Everything's moving 100 miles an hour. This is your worst nightmare. Get out! Please, bring your dish forward. Master Chef, Wednesdays or watch anytime on demand or Fox Now. I started Sterling Financial under the premise that there was a need for integrity in this industry as well as quality service. There's such volatility in the stock market. The, you know, one day it could be up 100 points, the next day it could be down 500 points. Well, what we like to do is be able to have people go to bed and wake up the next morning knowing that their money is safe and secure. That's what we try to do here at Sterling Financial Advisors is to create peace of mind and quality of life in retirement. And I'd like to welcome back to us uh, Steve Moyer. And Steve is the CEO of AgeWell Senior Services. Uh, great to have you back again. It's, uh, I think you were on maybe about three, four months ago. Yes, and it's great to be back. Yeah, yeah Thank very you for good. Thank you inviting me back. Uh, we're going to talk about a few things today. And, uh, you know, we often talk about, obviously, when uh, Shirley comes on, Shirley Witt and Cheryl Whelan and, and uh, folks from there from the Florence Investor, we talk about uh, that uh, great place. Uh, but you're first going to give us an overview of AgeWell, all the other things you do, because you're really all over Orange County, or, or South Orange County. Especially. Yes, that, yeah. that is correct. We, um, uh, for people that are not familiar with our organization, uh, AgeWell Senior Services, it started out as South County Senior Services mm -hmm. back in 1975. And since that time, we have continued to grow. Our service area, Ken, is 400 square miles wow. uh, of South Orange County. It starts at Newport Beach and goes all the way south to San Clemente mm -hmm. and, and then inland from there. Um, uh, the things that we do in our organization is uh, we're probably most known for uh, Meals on Wheels. Right. And we served last year 342,000 Meals on Wheels. We also operate up to 10 senior centers and yes, those, yeah. those senior centers in every day um, throughout the year we end up serving about 76,000 annual um, uh, uh, lunches at, at those senior centers. Also, um, people are probably very familiar with uh, Florence Sylvester. That's, right. that's here in Laguna, uh, Laguna Woods area and um, we've had tremendous support over the years from, uh, from the community here. And, yeah. and that's actually our biggest senior center that yes, we it operate. Is, yeah. And in that senior center, we do education, health and education classes. We also 
um, uh, uh, wellness classes, and the other thing is we have exercise programs mm -hmm. in, in that. And then probably the other big thing that we're known for is transportation. You've probably right. seen our buses driving around the area, and, and uh, last year we did 65,000 trips uh, wow. with our buses. So, and, and probably the most active area that, that we're in is Laguna Woods Village, so. And, uh, you know, as, as you mentioned, Florence Sylvester, everyone knows that. Uh, and the other centers that uh, you have, of course, the one in Mission Viejo, the um, Murray. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, Norman Murray. Norman and, Murray, and, and, and then the in some other areas, like in RSM, or RSM yeah. that's within the Bell Tower Foundation, the, which is uh, part of the uh, the city council area. That is yeah. correct. The, the The one center that we own is Florence, yeah. Florence yeah. Sylvester. Uh, the other centers are owned by the city; they're community mm -hmm. centers. But right. we operate a senior center in right. those. Right. Right. And and in addition we have case management throughout our mm -hmm. organization. And so when we do a Meals on Wheels run in the event that we ever see um, uh, an unfortunate recipient that is in need, we bring in case management and okay. identify what other services that individual mm -hmm. needs. So we, we are a nonprofit and we are stealth to a certain extent. And we're there to support um, the aging the aging right. adults. Yeah, and uh, uh, do just tremendous uh, work for everyone. And, and again, Florence Sylvester does so much for this community, uh -huh. and their ongoing programs are just tremendous. Yeah, and, and thank you for that. The, the thing that makes our organization run, quite frankly, is we have 500 volunteers. Ken. Yeah. So, so without that, we couldn't exist. And, and <laughs> Um, and without the funding, we couldn't exist. Yeah. So, and uh, as far as the Meals on Wheels program, uh, did that start all the way back in the seventies? We we did start in the later seventies. Okay. As far as that, we started running senior center mm -hmm. uh, initially. Yeah. And and if if we can get individuals in uh, to have a, a lunch like at Florence Sylvester, yeah. and I I invite the audience to to just visit the the Florence Sylvester um, Senior Center that we have, which is located on Moulton Parkway at the corner of Moulton and Santa Maria. Right. Um, if they know where the DMV is, we're, we're definitely located in, in that area. So um, uh, the beauty of it is, is that you will have a great time there if you go and enjoy a lunch and you'll meet people mm -hmm. your age and friends and there's been a lot of relationships I think there's even been some marriages that have yes. come out of that so and if you need a booklet to, this is the May one but of course so when Shirley and Cheryl come on uh, they bring these and this is a month's worth of activities and uh, along with this they always put the menus in for the lunches there and many of these things, in fact, um, I know there's a nominal fee for the lunches, but most of the events they have there are free. There are some uh, mm -hmm. that uh, have a nominal charge. The most important thing we tell you all the time is that you need to RSVP for these because there's limited space. Mm -hmm. So yes. it's, it's um, you know, it's really good. And you know, on here, I'll mention this. I'll, you know, the, these folks uh, help us out here too. They're, they're a sponsor of ours. But you work with Memorial Care, yes, and uh, they've been a partner for quite a while. They've been as a well. they've been a great partner for yeah. us. And, and and the other thing, <clears throat> as I say, the, the the great partners that we have are the residents of of Laguna Woods mm -hmm. Village. Over the years, we've had tremendous support, tremendous financial support. Um, the the needs continue to grow. And the other thing I would say, as far as a great partner for us, mm -hmm. is the foundation of Laguna Woods Village yeah um, just a just I have to give a shout out to them because they support us each year but the population growth in Orange County um, uh, it, it is just exploding as as we all know um, we are living longer than our the generation before mm -hmm. us, and it's because of our health and because of our right. eating and the things that we that we do to stay active, and and that's causing an issue from the standpoint that 
I may have saved my whole life, but I didn't plan on living so long. Right. And so yeah. I have finances, you know, that mm -hmm. I have to deal with. And, and our whole thing as an organization is we want to support the older adults um, uh, to keep them living at mm -hmm. home, to keep them living uh, healthy. You know, interesting fact, Orange County has more older adults than any other county in the nation. Right now we have um, uh, over 450,000 older adults in Orange County, and that represents 14.3% of the total population of mm -hmm. Orange County. All the other sectors, uh, 65 plus is what I was just talking about as far as older adults. Below that, all the other age sectors are decreasing in Orange County. Right. The only one that's increasing is the older adults. Right. And by 2045, it's expected that instead of the older adults making up 14.3% of the population, they'll make up 17.5%. Right, which is a big so difference. It, so it's even I want to put something up on uh, the screen. You know, you've talked about this before is um, you know you really appreciate people that are able to give oh, yes. to um, age well and yes. uh, a lot of your funding comes from this uh, probably uh, most of it Huge. and uh, here's uh, there's many different ways that you can give here uh, and uh, we have the number on the screen now uh, you know you can always call the Florence Sylvester and yeah. them first which most of you will probably uh, you know that, that number but um, you know all different ways that you can do this and you know, you can do one-time giving, you can set up uh, multiple throughout the year, mm -hmm. you know, whatever you want to do. Ken, I'll tell you, uh, thank you for bringing this up. It's our spring gift, and, mm -hmm. and, and we give, um, we have two fun, big fun drives uh, throughout the year. One is the holiday season, yes. and this, this is mm -hmm. the second one. Um, as you indicated, there are three ways that one can give. Um, you can go online, and, and our website, I believe, right. it is up. It's myagewell.org. Mm -hmm. And if you go there, you can see more about this program, but it, it's very easy to donate online. In addition, you can go, and I would encourage you to do that, as I say, to, to visit Florence Sylvester. Right. And if you go in, you can grab one of these, and it has an easy mail-in form. And then lastly, you can either call uh, Florence Sylvester or you can call our office and um, uh, we can take, take donations over the phone. So All in, right. in the event somebody can help us and has the wherewithal to do that, thank you in advance. All right, Steve, always good to see you. Always nice seeing you, Ken. Yeah, thank say, you. Say hi to you, uh, Shirley and yeah. Cheryl for yes, me. Yes, I'm most, I'm most sure. Uh, All right, we'll see them next time. And uh, you know, check out the Florence Sylvester. If you haven't been there, there's so many things to do, good, friendly people, and they can help you out in many, many different ways just to have fun. If that's all you want to do, they can help you out with that as well. We'll be back in just a moment. Thank you. I'm Wendy Miller, your Smiley Realtor with Remax and your Laguna Woods Real Estate Specialist. I'm here today with the first of my seven home selling tips for seniors. Some seniors prefer to rely on the real estate agent who has sold the most properties in their neighborhood. Others seek the most often recommended from family and friends. The right professional will ask questions about your future goals. He or she will help you decide upon a realistic listing price and answer all of your questions promptly before asking you to sign a listing agreement. Give me a call and I will help you make the right move. Get out and live your life with the Buzz Around XL Travel Scooter from Golden. The Buzz Around is fun to drive with a tight indoor turning radius so you can go just about anywhere. It's also so easy to charge and offers all day range so you can go further. The Buzz Around even has more leg and foot room for all day driving comfort. Be safe with the XL's ultra bright LED headlight. Plus the Buzz Around XL can be easily taken apart into several lightweight pieces. See for yourself just how easy and affordable mobility freedom can be. Save now at LA Carpet and More's 50% off sale. Buy direct and save 50% on countertops and 50% off kitchen cabinets. Plus, get five years 0% financing. LA Carpet, number one for you. Save now at LA Carpet and More's 50% off sale. 
Buy direct and save 50% on countertops and 50% off kitchen cabinets. Plus, get five years 0% financing. L.A. Carpet, number one for you. This is how we burger brew and cue. Pick a town. Arrive hungry. Real hungry. Start with a massive burger. Charred. Juicy. Add bacon. A buttery bun. Pile high. Serve it up. Wash it down. Creamy. Poppy. Fruity. Malty. We're not done yet. Cue time. Deep fried. Sauce soap. Pork ribs. Meaty. Tender. I'm full. Where to next? All new. Burgers Brew and Q. Tuesday at 9. Cooking Channel. Stay fired up. Welcome back. Well, um, I'm laughing because Ephraim is here and he's always making me crack up. But more importantly, he is always pointing out how Auto Nation Irvine Toyota welcomes all of you. So, right? I mean, you yep. guys, you welcome everybody yeah, to morning, come on Lisa. in. Good morning. Thank you for being with us. And Glad you welcome to everybody here. to come into Auto Nation Irvine Toyota because why? Well, I mean, because it's a, a, just a place to come get help. Right. And so that's kind of, that, that's what makes it so different now, I think. Right. So we were chatting right before we, we went on about just someone that, that came yesterday to pick up her new RAV. And I mm -hmm. thought that was cool. She was a veteran. I love that. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know. That's cool. Uh, we sat and chatted, like I said, literally for an hour. It was neat. But I mean, she was getting, uh, she was replacing her car into a, a new Toyota RAV and mm -hmm. it was all about the safety features. And that was so important. Right. Yeah. Right. Now, safety. Now, the RAV4, uh, we talked about this before. Uh -huh. You know, why do people like that car? It's a perfect size. It's just elevated slightly, so it's not some big truck or whatever, but it gets you a little bit higher than the, the people in front of you, so your vision of the road and what's coming up, it, it, I think that gives you a sense of confidence. Right. But it's the safety features, it's the safety sense that's on, um, it, that's on that car. I mean, we talked about it before, this car has the ability to actually stop for you when if you accidentally press the gas uh, but you meant to touch the brake the car will notice uh oh you're going too fast there's something coming up and i'm just going to stop i'll wow. stop all on my own even if your foot is all the way mashed on the gas really yeah and so that's i mean not many cars still do that that's uh level two autonomous driving and we don't mm. say that very much because we don't want people to think the car will drive by itself but this one will save oh, wow. you from yourself. I right, like that. Right, right. Well, I've seen yeah. some commercials on that and it looks it looks amazing that it actually knows when. I know. So is it just a sensory thing? Yeah, it has um, uh, a radar and sonar system in the front and so now it, it'll even detect something as subtle as just uh, uh, a person riding quickly uh, on their bike. Mm -hmm. it, it's someone walking because years ago it wouldn't detect anything but a bigger object but now okay. Uh, like a car only, but mm -hmm. now it, it'll detect even just a pedestrian. So it knows, and it has the ability to also predict in advance even if you uh, something is, is occurring in front of you, but you're not still aware of it, it'll tell you this car will also begin to steer. That's amazing. Yeah, so uh, it is, you know, a lot of, uh, when we had cars that, that began driving itself, it was a little odd and didn't. Mm. It felt a little clunky and mm -hmm. clumsy. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it did it when you didn't want. Well, those days are way gone. Okay. It has the ability to, to track not only the center of the lane that you're driving in, wow. so it has three cameras up front. Right. And then it also has the ability to just stay right in the middle. And and this one will actually turn the corner for you. We're not telling people to just you know have your like, copy read your whoa, paper. Yeah, not really. at all. <laughs> You've got to pay attention. Yeah. Um, but it's about being a good defensive driver, anticipating things before they happen, and, mm -hmm. and just, you know, keeping your environment safe and right. having a car that will help you because we all need a little help. Well, yes, we do. And, yeah. I, and, and these days, the cars are becoming more computerized, um, which is good, I think, because then, like you said, it can help with the safety features as well. For sure. And then we also talked about, you know, our dedicated 
Wednesdays are Laguna Woods That's Wednesdays, right? right? And That's so right. that means stop in. Because, you know, uh, it, even if we pretend once a week we're going to go fuel up, you still need to check in. So right. drive in. Drive right. in, get those tires checked. Let's make sure your car's safe. Stay in the car. It, we're, we're, <laughs> we're not telling you to come in because we want to charge you anything. Come in because we want to make sure that you have a good place to go. Right. Like, you know, years ago, um, you used to be able to go to a filling station and they would check under the hood and check those tires. Well, no one does right. that anymore. Nope. And, and even we don't do that. So, right. but uh, little things like that are can create a safety mm -hmm. concern. And so we, uh, Steve and I, uh, over here at Irvine Toyota, then really just felt, hey, we need to create this place where our local area residents can come. Right. Just get help when they need it, whatever it is. And we talked about someone who came in for a, some technology mm -hmm. questions. Um, and I love that she came in, and it was not a Toyota, because it doesn't mm -hmm. need to be. Mm -hmm. Just come in. Come in right. because a lot of us have features on our cars we don't know how to use, and right. let's help you out on the car you're driving, even if it's not a Toyota. It doesn't matter. Right. Well, I yeah. think that's great because you know last last week we had Steve on, and he said he had received a few um, letters, and so you're getting mm -hmm. letters. You're oh, getting yeah. people that are saying, "Hey, I saw you guys on Channel Six, and yep. we're coming in." So tell yeah. me a little bit about some of the people that have come in and what you're hearing. Okay. Well, Lisa, at least one or two people every day for me. Okay. And then Steve's fielding some on his own too. No, so I mean, it's it, it, it is it an overwhelming response. I think so, and I, I love it. And I'm and I'm always encouraging everyone come see me. Don't ask for anybody else. Just right. come see me. Right. I mean, I I, I want to say hi, and I want to navigate your your visit so that you know you get done what you need to get done, but mm -hmm. just you're well taken care of. Right. I, I told someone yesterday. Um, I said here before. Do, does uh, does someone deserve maybe something extra special when they come? Mm -hmm. The answer is yes. Good. Why not? I mean, why not? So, uh, yeah, I asked them to come in and see me because um, sometimes, uh, well, we had someone come in and they thought they needed something because mm -hmm. they visited a different repair center wow. and they came in and really needed none of those things. So wow. not only were we able to just kind of put her back into a place where she was felt comfortable and safe in her car right but didn't have to spend all the money that someone else had told her she needed to oh and i thought that was kind of neat because that's great come on uh, you know let's make sure that we do something if it's needed only right yeah right and right. so that's important and because steve and i literally have grown up in this area for so long mm -hmm. we're part of the fabric of the neighborhood and right. i guess that's why uh, we felt like it's that connection that we want to keep Right. and take good care of our neighbors. Well, that's all. And, and you come on every week and you tell us that and yeah. I think it's working and it is. I'm happy for you guys. That's it great. Is. And the community is very well taken care of by you guys. For sure. Can I give one shout out to of a, course. a VIP in the Absolutely. village? Absolutely. His name is Larry Keys, And we've spoken about him once before. Okay. Yeah, Larry Keys. Uh, he and his wife, Nancy, just bought a new RAV um, and we're doing something special because, of course, he's a veteran as well. And that, that's kind of a big deal, you know. Yeah. Um, and not kind of, it's a super big deal. And, right. and we're making uh, sure that he gets well taken care of, ordering him special plates and so forth. But just, nice. I just wanted to say shout out to Larry because I know he's watching. And, okay. And <laughs> <laughs> so look in there and go, hi, Larry. Hi, Larry. <laughs> he's, well, that's he's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Let's reiterate again the Wednesday specials. So yep. you can do um, alignment. Yep. Right? Or you can choose um, tires. So tell me how they work. Tires, oil change. You know, really, Wednesdays are dedicated because we know that... Uh, you can come in anytime, not just Wednesday, but right. Wednesday come in uh, because we have a few extra people on standby mm -hmm. to do that pit stop for you. Okay. And whatever it might be, if it's an alignment, we, we've we've offered to do it at a at a reduced rate. Okay. Uh, as well as brakes or anything else. Okay. Will I do it on Wednesday or Monday too? Uh, you know, I'll do it on any day. Right. But Wednesday we do have extra staff waiting just to take extra good care of you. Excellent. So I think that's important. Excellent. Well, yeah. good. Well, thank you so much. It was nice to see you again. Thank you. Super nice to be here. And uh, one of these days, I'll get out there and we're going to drive the RAV4. You're going to have to. We're going to drive the RAV4. Yes. All right. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. And remember that Wednesdays are Laguna Woods Day at uh, Irvine Toyota, so go there and check them out. And you don't have to have a Toyota to go there, so go visit your firm. <laughs> we'll be right back. Diane's Hallmark is a family-owned Gold Crown store that is much more than just a card store. 
our women's department has apparel, accessories, and jewelry featuring Vera Bradley and Bagalini handbags. Our religious department carries many different Christian books and Bibles, plus a great selection of Christian gifts. Of course, we have a large selection of cards and gift wrap as well. Come in and experience our personalized service. Welcome back. I have Michael Litchie here, who is the Manager of Communications for the Pacific Surfliner. And he's gonna tell us all about the engines and the new trains and also some amazing specials that they have. Welcome, thank you for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. Really a pleasure well, to be I was, here. Well, I was really excited to learn about the Pacific Surfliner and that there's a lot of new things going on. Why don't you give me a kind of an overview for those that don't know? Definitely, yeah. So um, for those who aren't familiar with the Amtrak Pacific Surfliner, uh, we're a passenger train service that goes from San Diego Diego all the way up to San Luis Obispo, mm -hmm. uh, including th here through Orange County. And um, we travel about 351 miles, serve 27 stations, um, and go to a lot of just amazing destinations up and down the coast uh, in California. Right, right. Now some, some people might say, oh, you know, I could get there a lot faster if I take the freeway, but many times that is not the case because of traffic. Definitely, I think that's a great point. Um, and one of the selling features of taking the train, um, while it isn't always the fastest form of transportation, it is much more predictable than mm -hmm. driving. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, especially going through downtown LA, if you're trying to get up to, to Santa Barbara or points north of there, um, the train is, is definitely, um, on a lot of days, a faster, but more importantly, a more relaxing and, and much more pleasant way to get from uh, point A to point B. Right. Um, and we can talk a little bit about that too, um, how great it, it is on board the train um, yes. and how much better than sitting in your car and driving in traffic. Well, it is. Now, don't give me a description of, of sort of what people can look forward to when they are on the train. I mean, there's different types of, of um, where you sit, right? Exactly, okay. and I think, I mean, you can see in the background some of the photos from uh, on board the train, but um, we have really spacious reclining seats. We have tables so you can sit with your family and friends, right. play cards, um, play with your grandkids, as you can see in play the- Play bridge. Play bridge, <laughs> uh, duplicate bridge even. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's, it's just a, a much more relaxing way to go. You have the freedom to get up and walk around. We have right. a cafe car on board um, where you can buy snacks and light meals. Um, and beer, wine, and cocktails if you're so inclined, right, right. which you can't do while you're driving for sure. That's um, right. Oh, look, so, they're showing it now. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, and, and just, you know, big picture windows to enjoy the view. Yeah. Um, you know, if you are if you would like, we also have um, free onboard Wi-Fi, so you mm -hmm. can stay connected while you're on mm -hmm. the train. Mm -hmm. Power outlets at every seat. Mm -hmm. You can take your bicycle on board the train for free if you'd like okay. to get off and ride it when you um, get to your destination. Um, so it's, it's just really a, a very relaxing, um, uh, fun way to travel and right. um, and you get to see views that you don't see from the car. That's right, that's right, right along the ocean. I mean, I've been on the train so many times to Santa Barbara and it really is nice, even though it takes a while because you're doing all of the stops, but then I'm not getting frustrated. I'm not right. saying, oh my gosh, I can't stand the traffic. So I would agree that that's really nice. Let's talk about what, um, you know, what's the closest station to our folks here in Laguna Woods? Sure, so um, you're really fortunate here in Laguna Woods. You have two Pacific Surfliner stations almost equidistant uh, from Laguna Woods. So uh, the two closest would be in Irvine and San Juan Capistrano. Okay. So depending on if you're heading south towards San Diego, you probably want to go to San Juan Capistrano or north. Um, to LA and Santa Barbara, you'd probably want to leave from the Irvine station, but both are um, very convenient to Laguna Woods. Mm -hmm. um, both have uh, parking on site, okay, and uh, it's easy to, to get in and out to, to take the train from either location. Okay, let's, um, there are new engines, because somebody told me that they live near the train station, they said the new engines are so quiet. Oh great, yeah, well I'm glad they've, uh, yeah, they've noticed they noticed that. Yeah, we, we did actually um, introduce new locomotives for the trains, and okay. those are the, the, um, the uh, things that pull the train and push it depending on the direction you go. Um, but we introduced new um, clean burning um, Siemens locomotives that okay. are manufactured by a, a German company called Siemens. Yes. Um, and they are much quieter than our older locomotives and, and much cleaner as well. So um, it's, it's really a, a benefit to our riders and to the residents along the tracks. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm glad that they're noticing the difference. So they are, yeah. yeah, we've been implementing those over the last uh, several months and um, we'll continue to, to roll them out. 
Um, and we're also hoping they'll be much more reliable as well. So uh, we'll have fewer uh, mechanical issues and that sort yeah. of thing. All right, good. Uh, yeah. Let's talk about the specials. First, let's yes. start off with the specials for our seniors because those are the folks that are watching our program. What, what right. do you have for them? So we have a few um, kind of ongoing discounts for the Pacific Surfliner, uh, and you can find all these on our website, pacificsurfliner.com. Right. Um, but we have a everyday discount for seniors age 62 and older. So it's a 15% discount off our lowest fare. Um, and that's available every day of the year. Right. Um, so it's really a, a, a great deal and um, kind of a, a good base discount that um, that seniors who are 62 and older can take advantage of. Okay. Is that also on both seats where you have the, the you know, because you can have a reserve seat too, right? Yeah, so, okay. and we can talk about that a little too. There are two classes of service on board our trains. There's an unreserved coach service, mm -hmm. um, which is still a great, very comfortable reclining right. seat. And then we have a business class service, which is a small surcharge um, and you have a reserve seat, a little more leg room, um, the service of a dedicated uh, attendant on the train, and then you also uh, get some snacks and beverages included in your fare. Okay. Um, so the, the senior fare is, is good on kind of the base discount. You can still upgrade that to the business class okay. fare. Okay, um, great. great. So we have that fare every day, and then we have a couple limited time promotions um, that are, are really great deals. Um, we have one right now, a midweek promotion. So if you travel with us Monday through Thursday, mm -hmm. um, we have a little bit more capacity on our trains than on the weekends. Um, you can, uh, if, if you buy one full adult fare or senior fare, you can travel with a companion for half off. Okay, um, that's great. And that's wow. good. Our entire route from San Diego to San Luis Obispo, okay. Monday through Thursday. Okay, great. And then just, I, I wanted to also point out that there are uh, other specials too, but they can go on to PacificSurfLiner.com to get those as well. Like I know there's a Disneyland one and then Angels one too, right? Yeah, we have a few other ones. Um, we've partnered with uh, some of the great places there there are to visit uh, in Orange County and Southern California. So we, the, I'll mention real quick the Disney one. Um, so we have a Disney Disneyland Resort promotion ongoing right now through the end of May um, that offers both a savings on Disneyland Resort tickets. If right. you use your Pacific Surfliner reservation number, you get five percent off mm -hmm. um, regular Disneyland prices, which may not seem like a lot, but anyone who knows Disneyland knows that it, they really don't discount tickets, no, so yeah, it's yeah. a great deal. Um, and plus, kids ride free on the train tour from Anaheim, so oh, it's a great way to uh, to take the grandkids and have right. a day at Disneyland. Right. Um, and when you get to the train station, we have a free transfer from the oh, train perfect. station that drops you off. That. Fantastic. Yeah, drops you off right at the, the front door of, of the the resort. So. That's got to beat the parking there, so that's Definitely, excellent. Yes. All right, well, thank you so much for the information. I really appreciate you coming in, yes. and uh, we will help promote this and get more people on the train. Great, appreciate All right. it. Thank you. Thank you so much. And remember, get out of your car and get on the Pacific Surfliner because it's really a fun ride. We'll be right back. Hey Laguna Woods, it's Ken. And Lisa. Did you miss an episode of this day? Not to worry, head over to youtube.com and search Village Television. Here you can find each episode of this day and other community programs such as Good Day OC, Discovering Laguna Woods, and much more. Just click the red subscribe button, then click the bell to be emailed every time we upload a video. Don't miss out. And subscribe today. You may know AgeWell for delivering life-saving Meals on Wheels to homebound seniors, but did you know they keep seniors active and engaged at 10 modern centers? Serve nutritious congregate meals amid friendly surroundings, transport seniors safely to and from appointments, and provide much-needed equipment and other essential services. Now this vital nonprofit organization needs your support to sustain its mission. This is AgeWell Senior Services. Won't you make it yours? Kristen Orr is with us right now. She is the general manager of the Towers. And uh, always good to have you folks on because every month you have some fun things we do. that are happening. First, let's give a, a, a bit of an overview. Maybe people just moved in here. They've never heard of the Towers. Oh, they yeah. see them and sure. they're like, well, what is that? What is that part of Laguna Woods Village? 
what is it? Yes, we, we are part of Laguna Woods Village, um, known as Laguna Woods Mutual Number 50. Mm -hmm. We have 311 condominiums in two 14-story high-rises. Um, we offer housekeeping, full housekeeping once uh, every other week and mm -hmm. a partial housekeeping on the off week. We have on-site maintenance, on-site activities, a full 24-hour reception desk, and of course, um, a dinner program and lunch available every single day. Yeah, and so it's a little bit different than living in either United or Third in that. It is. In that um, uh, your, the units there, if I'm not mistaken, have kitchenettes, yes. but not kitchens. So if people want to do a, something small, they can. Yeah, there's a little two burner stove right. um, and a sink and a almost full size refrigerator in mm -hmm. most units, but no oven. Right. Um, we do have a community kitchen that everyone can go and use if they'd like, if they have maybe family coming. And oh, there's, I didn't know that. Yeah, maybe okay. there's you know, a, a cookie recipe that they always yeah. give their grandkids. And so there's still the chance to go and do some baking if you want to, but not within your own unit. And then um, each unit or each unit has a laundry facility on the floor, but not mm -hmm. in the unit. Okay. So besides that, it's, um, yeah, you, if you haven't been to the towers, you have to come and check out the units. They're gorgeous. The views are spectacular and they're more spacious than really any other senior living building that you're yeah, going to find. Yeah, there are. And you have that opportunity coming up this weekend. Yes. On Sunday, when you have your buyer and realtor reception, it's at one o'clock. And this is the, uh, you do this uh, usually once a month, and it gives yeah. folks a chance to come on over and uh, look at the different units. Uh, and I remember these are individually owned, but you often have some that are, uh, people can see they're up for sale. Yes. And I know uh, you like to always mention, these are not sold by you folks. They're not. They're sold by realtors. Yeah. We have several realtors that sell um, and rent in the towers often, mm -hmm. but then other realtors who are in and out we, uh, the Mutual does own several units, right. and we're showing five this weekend, uh, but then there are plenty of private owners who are getting their units ready to show this weekend too, and some people are looking to lease their unit out, and others are on the market for sale. Okay, so this is happening this Sunday on June 9th, and uh, the number is 597-4278. It's a good idea to uh, call and put your name on the list. Uh, you have like hors d'oeuvres out and things we like do, that. We do, yeah. But I know this event, if people just show up, that's okay too. Absolutely. We yeah. like to kind of have an idea ahead of time yeah. in setting the room and getting everything ready. But if you decide spur of the moment that you're available on Sunday afternoon, we'd love to have you come down. And it is a really nice chance to also um, sample the food that comes out of our kitchen. Yeah. Um, it's the same people who are cooking our meals uh, at lunch and dinner. And so... It gives you it gives you kind of a good sample of everything at the towers. You get to see the units. Mm -hmm. You get to experience the receptionist. You try the food. You'll get to meet some of the admin staff. We give a really brief um, overview of what the towers is mm -hmm. and do an open Q and A to answer any questions that anyone may have. Um, there are there are several residents that are in attendance who sit on a panel and offer to answer questions from somebody yeah. who's living there and might be able to give that perspective. So it gives you a really quick sample of Towers Life and then of course the opportunity to go and view the units. Okay, and that goes from what until three? Uh, yeah, okay. I would say, you know, be there by 115. Uh, by 145, the realtors are gonna take off and yeah. do tours. So if you're not there by that point, um, you may not have the chance to go and view the units. So, okay, yeah. very good. Now. The following week, you definitely did make reservations for this. This is Father's Day brunch, yes. and uh, this is happening on June 16th. Right on Father's Day. Yes. Yes, and we, I know that it is already begun to fill. Yeah. So if you have any interest in attending that brunch for Father's Day, you'd want to call today or tomorrow um, in order to get a spot. We do fill at 150. Okay, and it is uh, $26, and but that includes tax, tip, and beverage. So. You know, that's quite I think a it's bargain. the best deal in town. It yeah. is. And it is sure to satisfy the dads. Yeah. It is lots of delicious food. There's a seafood buffet, um, prime rib, waffles, omelets, all the things that you could hope for. Yeah, that's always good. And again, uh, this sells out. All, it does. All, all these brunches really do. But they this do. one, of course, Mother's Day, and then you do as you get into the holidays. Yeah. Uh, those are definitely ones you need to call on. Same number. 597-4278, and even though, yes, this is at the Towers, this is open to everyone. It is, yeah. It's a great chance to come in and, again, see the community 
and try the food. Um, we are redoing all of our first floors, or okay. our first floor flooring um, beginning June 17th. So Father's Day will be the last opportunity to see us as we are okay. and as we have been for many years. But um, come the following brunch, they'll see the brand new flooring. So Okay, it's and exciting. again, brunch is every it's usually the third week. It's the third Sunday unless right. it's a holiday month and right. we're doing a special and holiday And the brunch. brunches are always open to everyone. They are. Uh, you just have to call in advance and make your reservation. Yeah, but, you got but, it. But a lot of fun. All right, Kristen, thank you very much for thank coming you. on today. Thanks for having me. And again, whether it's the, um, the buyer and realtor reception that's happening this Sunday, June 9th at 1 o'clock, or Father's Day, June 16th. And uh, what's... Before I forget, I don't see it on here, the timing of the brunch? 11.30. 11.30, okay. Uh, make sure you call, especially for Father's Day brunch for reservations at 597-4278. We'll be right back. I'm Sharon. I am so pleased to welcome you to JTV. We're a 24-7 home shopping network focused exclusively on jewelry and gemstones. And because we believe every woman deserves to be lifted up, we love to help her sparkle, keep her informed, and make her smile. Our viewer is passionate about jewelry and gemstones, and we share her passion. Because of that, she keeps coming back, making us one of the top retailers in the United States. We sell extraordinary products at extraordinary prices. Welcome to JTV. I'm Under Sheriff Don Barnes with the Orange County Sheriff's Department, and I have some important information that I'd like to share with you. If an emergency vehicle like a police car, fire engine, or ambulance are driving with their lights and siren on, it is responding to an emergency. Our ability to respond safely and quickly depends on you and the actions you take to help us. Remember, the person we're responding to help may be your friend or loved one, and we can't help them if we cannot get there. Here is Deputy Walewa to tell you what you should do when an emergency vehicle is responding to an emergency. Every minute first responders spend on the road is critical time to a person in need waiting for us to arrive. First and most importantly, when you see emergency vehicle lights or hear sirens approaching behind you, safely and carefully pull over to the right side of the road. Today's vehicles are highly soundproof, so if you have music playing loudly or other distractions in the car, it can be difficult to hear sirens. Drive with minimal distractions and keep music at a volume that will enable you to hear emergency vehicles. Remember, other drivers may not be as aware as you are. Use extreme caution when pulling over. Use your indicator and carefully slow down before coming to a complete stop. Never stop in or block an intersection. After coming to a stop, wait until the emergency vehicle has passed you by at least 300 feet before moving safely back into traffic. All drivers are required by law to pull over for emergency vehicles and failure to do so may result in a citation. If a patrol vehicle is driving behind you with its lights on, the deputy may be pulling you over for a traffic violation. If the deputy drives past you, he or she is responding to an emergency. If they remain behind you, they are pulling you over. If you determine that you are being pulled over, you can acknowledge the deputy by turning on your turn indicator while proceeding safely to a stop. Listen for instructions that may be given by the deputy to ensure that you're in a place that is safe. Once you have stopped, place your car in park and turn off your engine. Roll down your window completely, keep your seatbelt fastened, and place your hands on the steering wheel in plain view. Wait for the deputy to give you directions before reaching for your license, registration, and insurance. Let the deputy know where you will be reaching to retrieve the documents. By following these steps, you can help to promote your safety and the safety of other motorists and emergency personnel. Thank you for your time and for your continued support.
At Memorial Care Saddleback Medical Center, we are a magnet designated facility, which means that we're in the top 8% of hospitals across the nation that are recognized for high quality patient outcomes and nursing excellence. And what that means is that we have nurses that are highly engaged and enthusiastic about their workplace, that we have lower vacancy rates, lower turnover, and high nursing satisfaction scores. Well, our movie coming up this Friday is called Glass, and this stars Bruce Willis, Samuel Jackson, and James McAvoy. And this is all part of a trilogy, the Unbreakable trilogy, the first movie that came out in 2000, and uh, directed by really a brilliant director, M. Night Shalaman. He, he wrote, produced, and directed this. It's about security guard David Dunn uses his supernatural abilities to trap Kevin Wendell Crumb, a disturbed man who has 24 personalities mm. and as I said this is uh, they call these crossover films uh, they're not they're d related they were all like separate films but they would cross over certain characters it's not part of anything like Marvel or DC but it is um, you know described as kind of one of the characters as a superhero mm. type person so um, in a psychological thriller so if you like uh, if you've seen the first couple, Unbreakable and Split, Split mm -hmm. was the second one, mm -hmm. you'll certainly like this. And this one's called Glass, and it will be on Friday. It was Unbreakable. You didn't see Unbreakable, did you? Not that I recall. I, th I thought maybe that was about the train, but I yeah. could be wrong. Oh, before you get to the Monday movie, yes. we want to tell folks that we're replaying Aquaman on Saturday. That's because the cable guide was not working properly, so if you wanted to set your DVRs, you couldn't do that. So we're showing it at 2 o'clock and 6 o'clock, so you can see it there. So that will be Aquaman. Uh, we played it fine here. It was just the, you know, you couldn't have the ability to record it. Oh, so, okay. But so that'll there be on you Saturday. Go. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we, we won't tell the DC folks. Yes. Yeah, the Universal tell. folks. <laughs> okay, and then on uh, Monday we have a really cute little film called A Dog's Way Home. And that <laughs> uh, is just so cute. As a puppy, Bella finds her way into the arms of Lucas, a young man who gives her a, a good home. When Bella becomes separated from Lucas, she soon finds herself on an epic 400-mile journey to reunite with her beloved owner. Along the way, the lost but spirited doggy touches the lives of an orphaned mountain lion, a down-on-his-luck veteran, and some friendly strangers who happen to cross her path. And this has um, Ashley Judd, Jonah Howard King, and Edward James Olmos in it. And then... I don't know what the puppy's name is. What's the puppy's Bella. name? Oh, Bella. Bella. So we met Bella's Bella. playing Bella probably, right? Yeah. You met Bella? Yeah, Bella was at the, um, uh, the Pet Expo. Oh, cute. Uh, the one that was up in Lake Forest earlier this year. I think it was in oh. March. Oh, darling. Yeah, kind of and the author who wrote A Dog's Purpose. Oh, that's awesome. And yeah. she's a cute little, what kind of dog is it? it I know it's um, a, a mix. I forget what it's a mix of. And of course, when we saw that it wasn't a puppy anymore. Oh yeah, super cute. Yeah. Anyway, that'll be on Monday at 2 and 6 p.m. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, we want to tell you about, um, let's see what I have. Oh, the Taste of Laguna Woods. Yeah. yeah. That's a fun event and uh, that's done by the Laguna Woods Professionals. It is Saturday, June 8th, and Leslie Coretti puts this on. The cost is 10, 15, or $20, meaning you buy these food tickets, mm -hmm. then you go around to the different uh, vendors there and uh, try out their food and you can see there's just I don't know 20 different folks that are going to be there nice. from all different any kind of food that you like they will be there and again this is Saturday noon into two at Clubhouse 7 mm -hmm. so um, these flyers are around the community and if, so if you want to buy tickets in advance you can if not get there I think uh, Leslie said maybe an hour beforehand to get your tickets right. for that day. Excellent. Yeah. Looks good. Looks delicious. It does. All right, and then um, also don't forget that uh, it's whale watching still, and going into uh, summer, there's still senior specials you can take advantage of. They're only nineteen dollars for those yeah. fifty-five and over, and that's any two-hour whale watching cruise Monday through Friday, and um, you can see dolphins and whales and fish and birds and all sorts of fun stuff. So yeah, take advantage They're of that a lot nineteen dollars. Yeah. So uh, let's talk about this before I get to oh, the yes. weather. 
And these are the flavored good. ones. And like I said, you got, didn't you get these at BevMo or something? I did. Like I got yeah. them at BevMo because I was curious. I went moonshine. I didn't think you could buy it, but yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes. Yeah, so I like, smell them. I like the show. I don't know if it's still on Moonshiners, oh, which I don't is know. on. Ooh. I forget what network. It smells like cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, this is the this apple is pie one, and it smells like it smells okay, like smell apple pie. This one it really does. So maybe and this, this one, one is. Hunch Punch. Ew, they both smell okay. very terrible. <laughs> so, well, I'm not a moonshine person. <laughs> yeah, that one does. That one just smells Ew. like. Now, I was saying before, I'm more of a fan of give me real, you know, bourbon and rye or right. whatever it might be. Absolutely. Uh, but this is, you know, um, Old Smoky Mountain. They make, I don't know how many different things. You well, can that's go been online. A while. That's been around a while. Yeah, you can go online and find out about them. And there's many when there's still house. There's. Uh, many different ones that you can buy. So, yep. a lot yeah. of fun. I mean, if you like the, the yeah. flavored ones, go for it, you know? And if you like moonshine, own. whatever you like. It's moonshine day. It's moonshine day. And it's a day. sunny day, and you can have moonshine in the sun. Yes, there we go. <laughs> and we got some nice weather coming up. As I've been saying, the only difference is how much of the fog layer we're going to get each morning. June gloom, you know that. That happens. And so the temperatures I have there fluctuate a bit. If this burns off a little bit um, sooner, we get a little bit warmer temperature. It's as simple as that. However, as we get to Saturday and Sunday, we should be approaching that 80 degree mark, um, believe it or not. So that is what would be pretty uh, normal. 70, as I said earlier, upper 70s to low 80s would be normal right. for uh, this time of the year. Really, as we get to mid-June, that's what we, we should be having. Looking around Orange County and elsewhere, just beautiful weather and uh, enjoy the beach communities before all the arts, the artists get there. I mean, it's fun to see the artists, but it's, it gets crowded down there. Yeah, especially now because I think kids are all starting to get out yeah. of school and everything else. Okay, so tomorrow we're gonna have Harvard Eye on, Robert's Rules, the old pros, and the Globe will be here. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day in the village. All right, bye-bye.